Hey guys, Zach here from Kubota of Lynchburg. It's August, although it's 94 degrees out today, um, but it's August, which means that fall is coming. We're about to hit the leaf season around here. Um, so, you know, leaves are one of the more difficult things to maintain. Yeah, you can mow your grass pretty easily, you can chop up wood pretty easily, but leaves are frustrating and annoying, whether you're a commercial or you're a homeowner. So to kind of show you all your leaf options on it, I've got kind of a ray here. Um, so we'll kind of start on the small side, if you're a commercial guy or a residential person who has a lot of long properties, you actually could get a walk behind leaf blower. A lot easier, a lot less stress on you than using handhelds or backpacks. You walk, you can swivel the nozzle, you can basically just push it and you'll have this leaf blower blow a lot stronger than a backpack. And the nice thing is it starts low to the ground so it'll blow it further. Where the backpack or a handheld, you're kind of starting at an angle. Having something very low to the ground is very nice. It'll push it further and push it better. Your other option, as far as commercial grade blowers go, is gonna be the giant windstorm from Skag. Now there's one or two versions out there. Skag does make probably one of the best ones, if not the best one, and it is a stand-on machine. So kind of like a stand-on mower, you stand on it, you drive it around, it's exactly kind of the frame of a stand-on mower. So there's no walking involved, there's no arms involved, it's literally as easy as you can get. With the Skag, you actually have the option to swivel your nozzle. So you can swivel it and you can angle it as you're driving. So if you're trying to blow to this side, then you got to blow to that side. You don't have to change and go the same direction every time. You literally just swivel it around. Um, this thing is a beast. It comes with a hefty price tag, probably $15,000, $17,000 for it. But if you've got commercial guys going um, and time is money, the amount of time that this massive machine with the amount of output that it gives will save you a ton of time and a ton of money over a couple of years. Um, so, you know, you could always look at a stand-on blower. Um, we then have, you know, we'll get into the handheld and the backpack and the more residential side, but another option that homeowners or commercial guys have, of course, are called grass catchers. You can put it on your tractor, you can put it on your zero turn or your riding mower. This is a very simple, basic, the most cost-effective version of a grass catcher. You can basically see your discharge chute from your mower deck goes right here. You basically drop it on your mower deck. This will fill up with grass or leaves, um, chopped up leaves from your mower deck and you go and you dump it. It's got a little latch. This one has a little latch on it so you can dump it out the back end and you basically just pick it off, go dump it in a pile. The downside is, is it doesn't have a ton of capacity. So these are very limited. If you've got that half acre, an acre maybe, or you don't have that many leaves, this is a great, cheap, inexpensive, small, affordable option. Your bigger option, maybe we'll have a picture or video on the screen somewhere with me. Um, I don't know because I don't have one to show you is a rear grass catcher, which is the most common option, or a rear leaf bagger, most common behind your zero turn. This will take the big chute off the mower deck, fill up usually two or three big bags of leaves on the backside of it, and this is your best option as far as overall ease of use goes, because then you can basically just pick out the bags and dump them. You could even get one that's a lot more expensive in the four or $5,000 range, where you just pull a lever and it dumps itself. There are options out there, but that's your best option for leaf collection. Now, let's say you have a giant property that you're doing. Even that's not a feasible option. A lot of times what people will do is they'll take a blower, they'll blow it into big piles or rows along the street, and then they'll use one of these debris loaders. Um, so basically this is a truck mounted one. You could sit in the bed of the truck, you can put on a hitch of a truck, you could mount it to a trailer, you could do all sorts of things. You could put on a little tow behind cart. And what it does is it basically takes this giant hose handle here, and it's got handles to it to make it easy. And you have this giant hose, you get your leaves in a pile, and it just has enough force to suck up all the leaves as you're driving, as you're going. You guys, you know, it's comfortable. You do that. It's going to have an impeller in there, the kind of the rotator that gets the uh, wind and everything going. It's going to chop up your leaves, chop up your grass and everything like that as well. So it's going to get it into a finer, smaller motion. It's going to get it into a finer, you know, material. And then it's going to suck it up and it's going to blow it here, usually into a trailer um, or into a pile somewhere as well. Um, so that's kind of what you're doing as far as the commercial guys go. Put it on the truck, put it on a trailer put some wheels on, it's got all sorts of options that you can do to haul it behind. And then of course for your residential side, you have your standard stuff. You've got your backpack blowers, you've got your handheld blowers. Um, you know, we carry the Echo, which the 9010 is the industry leading strength backpack blower. It does weigh a lot, 25, 26 pounds, 
but this thing will blow ridiculously hard compared to kind of the residential ones. And then you have your little handheld blowers for, you know, blowing off your porches, blowing the backyard. But again, these get tiring over time that you're hauling it and everything like that. I would recommend getting one with another side, handle side on it, to where you can actually run sideways and kind of use both arms. Or some of them have the loop handles. Try to get something that you can use both hands for. So when you're doing leaves, remember, there is no great solution. There's no easy solution, but there are solutions out there. So whether it's blowing them into a pile and burning them, whether it's blowing them into a pile and shredding them, or whether it's just kind of blowing them into the woods, there are options out there, but there's no great solution. But we try to provide the best options out there, whether it's the walk behind, the stand on, the shred and vac system. Oh, that's another one. Echo makes one that's a shred and vac system. Handheld, it kind of looks like a leaf blower, but instead of blowing out, it sucks the leaves in and puts it into a bag. So for those small, hard to reach areas like between or behind brushes, you know, in front of your house, you got all those leaves behind it with the mulch and everything. You can just go in there and suck them up and it shreds it and puts it into a bag that you can get and go empty. So there's options out there. Talk to your dealership, go talk to your salespeople, see what's best for you. If you've got a zero turner or riding mower, see what your options are. And of course, let me know if you guys have any questions.